What are we doing? I don't know, but do you know why they call it a boner? This is not good. No, what? it's true. It's a legit thing. What? Because, like, dogs have a bone in their penis. You could snap a dog's penis and break Gross. it. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, welcome back to our stupid reaction to eating some Corbin. 100% true. It's, it's, it's not a it's juicy content. It's so juicy. Oh, 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 it's so juicy. That was the dog, by the way. Right down there. Today, we are reacting to a video. It's called How North India is Different from South India. Split second, I thought you were going to say something about how North Korea. No. 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 Wait, North India and South India are different? No. They're exactly the same. Especially the breakfasts. <laughs> we're joking. Yes. The South Indian breakfast you have in New Delhi. In New Delhi or in same, Calcutta. It's it's exactly the uh, same. Anywhere in South India. Yeah. We got, I, I got ridiculed for that in, in Calcutta. Not, not nearly as badly as we got hit for doing it in Delhi. <laughs> uh, also, all of India is a desert. Yeah. It's all the same. Everybody gets around on train and they ride on top yeah. of the trains, not in the trains. There's no difference. One language. There's no difference. And they're third world. India and yeah. South India. And there's India. only one film industry. It's Bollywood. I knew people that are mad at us. <laughs> Alright, well, let's check this out. Hey Tribe, Prishia here, and I'm sure a lot of you are already saying that she hasn't traveled all over the north. You and haven't south traveled all over the north and south. Uh, See? Ah. Uh, that scared me. From a little bit of exact... the travel that I have been recently wow. doing, and if you've been following me on my social media handles, I haven't have been. Where all I have been. Whack official. These are a few of the very stark differences that I have noticed. After all, this is just my opinion and my observation. I'd love to hear from each and every one of you in the comments section below as well. Oh, all I of will, you from you the east wrong. and the west, sorry for ignoring you all, but this is about <laughs> someone most people else. Do. That's true. But I also so. think that your opinion opinions would be uh, very objective and I'd love to hear what you have to say Wait, because no. after all our friends from Indians the aren't very passionate South about where they live and they're not very objective about those things what? to get a scale of the distance between the northernmost state and the southernmost state it's the distance between France and Nigeria oh, oh. or Canada to central Mexico. Oh. So if the distance is going to be that this much, there are two differences, <laughs> even though fun. they belong to the same mother. Yes, there are major differences, especially when it comes to food. Mm -hmm. The Churidar versus the Kanjivaram, Hindustani music versus Karnatic music, mm -hmm. yeah. the lush mountains of the north oh. versus south, and plenty of misconceptions like the color of skin. But hey, but, these yeah. guys, they're from the south, and these guys, they're from the north. The difference between the two has a historical foundation. And if you take a look at this video, then you can see that the south of India was colonized very few times. The Chola oh. Kingdom and the early Well, Pandya because they're farther dynasty, away from they the rest of the for continent. close to almost thousand years. Under stable governments, culture, art, architecture flourished. And that's why if you look at any of the dance or paintings from India, the older schools were always found in the south. Mm -hmm. The north in the meantime was constantly empires. under attack yep. and different empires would rule and erase the previous empire's yep. contribution. When I talk to yeah. people, I find that they think of India's much, history what, in, in very blanket terms. Of, of the British, Seriously. the Mughal, the Marathas, the, the Rajputs. <laughs> but from this video, White you people. can see <laughs> that India, especially the North, was ruled by many different empires. While the gigantic plains were fertile, they were also easily accessible through the Khyber Pass. The South, on the other hand, equally fertile, but accessible only by boat. A lot of the boats that did land there, they were merchant boats and not led by armies. With trade came an understanding of other cultures without right, having they were there to call as them masters. Yeah. Now here's a story that will blow your mind, especially if you've just joined the tribe. 
people have a tendency to believe that islam came from the north but the very first mosque to have been built in india during muhammad's lifetime was built right here huh. in kerala the king of kerala had no, heard of muhammad they were and sent sail to meet him mm-hmm. even though he didn't yeah. manage yeah. to convert to islam he did promise muhammad that his people and his followers would have a place of worship right here in the south and that's where the first mosque ever got built in india this mosque it still exists in india oh, so wow, i understand awesome. that the british did not give us christianity and the mughals did not give us islam but it's the merchant vessels yeah, that yeah. brought these religions to indian shores even though the south did get colonized before the north the british were very focused on delhi and bengal yes they did have centers in madras but their relationship with the kings of the south was less disruptive than the north people from the north were constantly moving from one place to another while those in the south were allowed to stay and their roots were deepened even more now we all know what happens to deep roots it makes for the foundation for a really strong tree why is it that kerala and tamil nadu are spotlessly clean as compared to up mp or bihar it comes from education it comes from culture and it also comes from having a deeper sense of belonging people from the south are deeply affected if their natural resources are depleted and that is why some of the germans oh. from the south oh. are richer and greener you mean the natural okay. inhabitants the are more in touch India with the land than the invaders to its coin because of the coin well, not that the, not that the north of the invaders place, it's, that's the where the invaders came was in the north new. There is a survival instinct and a warrior spirit that does kick in yep, which yeah. makes it a little stronger. So compare America to Europe. It's young, new, flashy and always trying to impress. In our case, Hindi movies with its obviously northern influences becomes the barometer for pop culture in India. Yes, southern movies have caught up, but in today's day and age it's still easier to watch a Hindi movie in Ooh. Madurai than to try and catch a Tamil movie in Mathura. So oh, I'm going to end this saying. video with two points. Yeah. I was like, I could you're going to flag about yeah. women's safety and throw a whole bunch of numbers and figures at you. Yes, it would be a very good barometer of a society's progress. But at the same time, we have to understand that Kerala, it was matriarchal. Women over there are much more educated and therefore more empowered. But honestly, this is another no, whole topic and it could be a whole video by itself. Because they have more peace, different religions are able to exist with one another and they're also less suspicious of each one's intentions as compared to the north you could generalize if you wanted to say that south indians are geeks and north indians are loud but in the comment <laughs> Let's try and learn from each other. <laughs> Let's talk about the good and not really focus on the bad. After all, <laughs> we're all cousins from the same mother. I'm really looking forward to the conversation that is going to start in that comment section below. Don't forget that all my social media handles and, that you can reach you're, out to me as well. While you're at it, if you really want to keep things peaceful, talk about your cricket team versus their cricket team. <laughs> who just who in Mumbai one, right? I don't know. Yeah, because Renvier was all, all crazy and going all happy. He was. I saw that, but I don't know who he. I think it was Mumbai. I don't know who he roots for. The the mum Mumbaiker the, what's the name of the well, mum Mumbaikers are. I know, but the the name of the the team. Anyways, right. I, don't know. I think it was. You can let me know. You all know. You know. I, I yeah. I know. I'm not. I yeah. Yeah, that was actually really interesting um, to, especially to learn about the parts with the the invaders and the, yeah, and the and I guess it makes sense that um, because it said uh, the South wasn't conquered very much because they right. had to go a lot farther. Right. Uh, well, it's easier to go by land first of all. Two, that's where you had the empires coming in, uh, and anybody traveling by boat would typically be a merchant. And is it true that? More of the natural resources were taken from the north because that's one of the more populated areas, I guess. Like when the British came, and I they, think it was they, just easy. They depleted, obviously, India yeah. of almost a ton of their natural resources. Uh, that was one of the reasons why they overtook them. Well, yeah, I think that's why it's the the. I think it just has to do with ease, the accessibility of the fact that the north by land 
and the far east by water, that coast of, was easier to, to get to than it was the far south of India, yeah. like the far south of Africa. Very few boats ever went around the, 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 the Cape Horn at the bottom because there's stormy water and there's, you know, stick to the part that's closer up to the top that connects Africa to the rest of uh, the Middle East. And Is there a part of India that, that is more environmentally conscious? Is it the south? I would expect it to be so based on what she said, but it's hard for me to make that a, a definitive expectation yeah. because tourist things we've seen, every region seems to be really... I mean, cities aren't going to Yeah. Be. A city anywhere isn't going to be as careful as it's a, too a regional. People. Yeah. There's just too many people. But yeah. it, it seems like, from, I mean, the probably the two most beautiful places I've seen, at least on video, obviously we haven't been there, but, you know, Kerala, mm -hmm. Kashmir, mm -hmm. both seem like gorgeous, gorgeous landscape, just vast. And then we've seen a bunch from Tamil Nadu that's also been equally gorgeous mm -hmm. um so i can't and i always remember assam uh, that was always that was one that's, of our first ever that's northeast northeast it's yeah. above uh which Kukata. i would love to go yeah but you know we're gonna come and go to india multiple times yeah <laughs> i mean yeah we, it's who knows we might have already a lifetime might have already been back but we i know we could have been but i remember talking to a lady back when i was an uber driver when i was talking to her about the channel and she's in love with india who has she had said she'd been to india about 20 times and said, you will never exhaust it, ever. She said, there's just every region you go to. And we know just from the little bit we've experienced, I just, uh, you, yeah, could spend, it, you could spend, you could do 20 trips <coughs> to South India. And that actually, putting into it, you don't realize, because a lot of times in Western maps, America is like the biggest, when in fact it's yeah. actually not at not all. Only, not only is it the biggest, it's you, all the Western maps, when you look at them or open them, America is right in the middle. It's like dead center, and well, all the, the world other revolves things are around out of us. All the other stuff goes around there. Yeah, the world world revolves around us. Of course, uh, of course. Trump Tower, I think. Yeah, yeah, is yeah the yeah. dead center it's of the, the dead world. center they of it. They changed the North Pole. Yeah, all of the gravitational forces now are no longer the North Pole. Did you know that? Yeah, yeah. That's I heard. anything else you hear is fake news. When he said, uh, "It's the the northernmost tip." is basically Canada, and then it goes all the way down to Mexico. Uh-huh. That's, that's really far. That's like the entire Appalachian range. That's like, yeah. that's very, very far. Yeah, that was cool. Well ed well done video. <sighs> uh, lots of good education for our brains. Yep. Uh, if she was wrong, anything, less stupider. I'm sure you will let us know. Oh, I'm sure they will. <laughs> but yeah, more informational videos, please let us know about them down below. Da <laughs> <laughs>